boast an unparalleled display of natural beauty. From towering Himalayas in the north to the backwaters of Kerala in the south, India's diverse landscape is a testimony to its rich biodiversity. With palm fringed beaches, stunning old forts, mountains, hill stations, and bustling metropolitan cities. The country attracts visitors, not just from within the nation, but also from across the globe. Hence, here are the students of Little Flower School to showcase the beauty of each state through a mesmerizing dance performance. We hope that you enjoy the dance. Here come the Kashmiris wearing Peranor Firan, a traditional attire of the Kashmiris, to introduce you to their delicacies. Please accept the delicacies, sister. Sikhs wearing patialas 
are here to offer to you their mouth-watering delicacies. We hope you enjoy it, sister.
land of forest is endowed with rich flora and fauna and beautiful lakes and dams. Here come the residents of this mesmerizing state to present to you the delicacies of Jharkhand. We hope that you relish it, sister.
renowned for its beaches, temples, and holistic capitals. The Gujaratis are here to help you with their delicacies. We hope that you enjoy it, sister. Thank you. 
with some wondrous hill stations, cities and beaches. These enchanting destinations have the ideal setting for a dream vacation. Please try the delicacies of South India, sister.
the non-teaching staff, pupils. Good afternoon. It is always a pleasure for me to visit a school because um, I come from an educational background. I want to thank you very much for your warm welcome, warm, colorful welcome, and that magnificent display of talent that we have just witnessed. Thank you very much. Today I want to say a few words, first of all, to the teachers, because yesterday was Teacher's Day. Congratulations. Thank you, sister. Yesterday, we paid tribute all over the country to teachers. And today, I want to thank you, teachers, who labor here to sow the seeds of love, of hope, and compassion here in this school, in the charism of Anne-Marie Jabri. I'm glad I'm not alone on the stage. I see she is beside me there. <laughs> yes, Anne Marie Javri had a vision, and um, her vision was to enable the human person to grow in dignity, in respect, and to be fully human with all many of the values and the qualities that you talked about today in the. Um, clip that you showed about the history of the school. So your teachers, the teachers are here, you're working hard to sow these seeds in order to give life to the students. I always say the very act of planting a seed means that we believe in new life because we wouldn't plant seeds otherwise. So the seeds you are planting hopefully will grow and blossom. And to you, the pupils, thank you again for this display of talents that we saw. You no doubt appreciate your good fortune to be in this setting, supported by such a talented and dedicated staff. We are present in 56 countries, and I travel a lot all over the world. And I can assure you that there are many, many children who do not have half the chance that you have here in this school. Your parents, your educators, make a great effort to offer you the best conditions to succeed in life. Remember, the school is a place of formation. This is, as well as your home, of course, it's like a second home, where we all had to prepare, where you prepare now for the future. Success, of course, comes with effort. It doesn't go alone. And in this, this school is not just about book learning. It's about learning for life, learning life values which will serve you in the future to be good citizens. I encourage you to make good use of the chance you have here to study hard and to work well, with, listen to your teachers, and work with them. I would also encourage you to have big dreams about the future. You see, nothing happens if we don't dream. If we are here today as Clooney sisters, if this school exists today, it's thanks to the dream that Anne-Marie Javoui had, a dream of forming a group of people to work relentlessly and to enable, the, empower the person to be fully human, fully humane. I was very happy when you were showing the history of the school here, I noted that you have a kindness day. And somebody once said, there are three ways, if you want to change the world, there are three ways. The first, love and be kind. The second, love and be kind. The third, love and be kind. It's that simple. So I would encourage you to love one another. This is the, the biggest value for us, Clooney sisters, to love one another, to be kind, respectful, and all the other values that we enumerated here this morning. So when we have a dream, of course, things don't just, it's not magic. 
having a dream. You know, sometimes we watch films and we see people dreaming and then it's magic. No, it doesn't work like that. So as I say, allow yourselves to have dreams about your future. What kind of future do you want? Work towards that future. You have to make it happen. It's one thing to have a dream, but you have to make it happen. And you can only make it happen by what you put into it, what you, the work that you put in to make it happen. Make your parents proud. Make your teachers proud. So thank you once again for this welcome. I'm glad I came. And I'm happy to say to you that I met Sister Helena Egan just last year in Ireland. And I will be telling her about what I saw here today. And she will be very happy. So thank you very much for this welcome. And I wish you all very well today and in the future. Thank you.